Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Particles X. Particles X is a pretty cool brand new add-on from Razy Clutch. Amazing tool that you would need, especially if you like to simplify the creation of particles directly in Blender with a couple of steps. This tool is extremely nice and it comes with a lot of presets that can just get you up and running in no time. And of course, if you'd like to come through and check it out, I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can see some amazing features, 15 plus particle presets, 5 plus particle effects, and more stuff that you'll be able to get with this. So with that said, we're simply going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And all you need to do is press N on the keyboard and you notice that we have this right here. So the Particle X does come with two different tabs. The first one is the custom and then we have the preset. Now within the preset, if you click on this gigantic thumbnail, you would see that we have a couple of nice, lovely presets that we can play with. First off, let's take a look at some cool ones. So I'm just going to click on creature and click on add preset. And once I do that, right now you don't see anything, but of course we'll press the playback button. You start seeing something. This is best viewed once you are in EV or maybe once you're in cycles, depending on what render engine works for you. So in this case, I'm just going to turn on the bloom and then go over to our world and set this all the way to black because, you know, we we'll like to see them glow. Beautiful. So in two steps, you have this press the playback button and you have these beautiful stuff happening for you. Now, if you like to tweak this thing, you want to play with them, you can, of course, go ahead and select any of these emitters or particles. So in this case, if you select the emitter and you like to change the duration, you can set the duration how much you want. Select the other emitter, set the duration however you want. Go over to the particles because, you know, these are two different particles. We have the one from in here and the one out there. You can select these particles and tweak them to your liking. But of course, if you just want to get this basic one happening, you can go in and press the playback button and have this beautiful creature thing happening for you. So with this out of the way, you might also want to take a look at some other cool ones. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other cool ones. I think the portal looks cool. So I'm just going to import that as well. Ooh, look at this bad boy. So with this here. If we press the playback button, let's bounce this all the way back and see how this actually starts up. And of course, if you like to hide the source particles, you can select them, press H on the keyboard to hide them. And if we press the playback button, you can see this in action. So something that you would notice is these things already have some forces and you can select any of these forces and control them however you want. So in this case, if I select the first force, which is uh, this one, we can manipulate this thing to suit whatever we want to create. So in this case, if I bounce this all the way back and I choose to tap G on the keyboard and push this, I would like you guys to see how this controls these particles, you know, that we are generating from here. So you can start seeing some very interesting patterns right there. Let's stop that, bounce this all the way back and select something else. I'm just going to go ahead and select this. Okay, so let's select that. Let's test and see. Okay, so we can move that around. So if we press the playback button and that starts spinning, if we go in and tap G on the keyboard and move this, you can also see that these sort of controls how these particles move. So you can get these, customize them, tweak them to whatever you want, and start getting some amazing results with it. And these are just the presets. So what if you like to create yours? Out of all these presets, you have tons of things that you can pick from and start manipulating them and start creating some amazing things. But if you like to create yours, this is also super simple. So like right here, we already have a cube. So what we need to do is we need to go over to where we have custom and then I would apply particle system. So I can just simply click on add particles. And that is how easy it is. As simple as this is, if we go in and press the playback button, particles are happening. And then you can simply go in and switch to materials from here. If you like to see the materials automatically, and this would actually just go in and set up the materials properly. Let's set this all the way to 50 because it's blinding. And for sure, you can play with the count if you like to do that. Play with the size if you like to also do this. And you can play with the randomization. In this case, if you're also feeling excited and maybe you just want this thing to be static, you can do that. If you want it to be dynamic, you can do that as well. And you can choose to play with the forces. So if I press the play button, you can see what we have here. Nice. If we like to have some forces, we can just simply add forces and you can see that if you don't want to see the emitter, you can turn this off. So you just have this big old happy stuff going on. Now, once you apply any particle, there are actually three sets of particles that gets applied and you can tweak from these particles. So the very first one that we have here 
is the mirror sort of particle. Now you wouldn't see the effect of this thing until we add some good light. So what we need to do is to go over to where we have our world. Let's set these all the way to black, switch these over to EV so that you can see it, or you know, just simply switch it over here. But before we do that, let's uh, duplicate our light. So I'm just gonna go in and duplicate this light here and here. So we have a couple of lights around. So let's just go ahead and move this light down here. So with this light here, if I go over to where we have the light properties and I'm just going to set this to a given color, let's say we set that to red and maybe we can set this to green and I'm just going to raise this all the way up and set this to, let's say blue and potentially set this to something else. Let's just find something interesting and set this maybe yellow. Okay. So once we're done, switch over here and then what you need to do if we bounce this all the way. So what you need to do is set this back. And press the playback button and of course you would start noticing some effects going on now the lights that you see or you know this sort of sparks that you're getting are reflections of the light that we've just placed in now if you like to get these things a bit wild if you select any of them you can go over to the radius and increase the radius and you can start seeing that and because this is more like a reflective surface it reflects the light and uh, bounces across through with all of them so this is one of them so if you also go ahead and select you can switch this to something like this where you can change the colors and you can have some fun working with this one. Press the playback button and you remember we did add the force and that's why we're getting this sort of cool force. And you can see with just a couple of clicks, you already have this beautiful thing happening and you can also switch to this other one. So with these things, you can start making particles and particles can be fun again. Meanwhile, if you already have like a particular you know, mesh, for example, let's go ahead and get Susan. So if, for example, this is the mesh that you have and it's the mesh you would like to scatter around or you want to drive based of the particles, you can simply select on this button and select that mesh. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and find the Susan and that is going to be it. And once we zoom in, you can see we have lots of Susans and we can go back, press the playback button and have lots of Susans just pump out. So this is definitely going to save you that time of fiddling with the particle system and just get those particles working. Now, some other cool things with this one is if I choose to set this to what it was, I can go back and set the source from face to volume to vertices. So depending on the number of vertices I have, that is where the particles are going to come from. So if I press the playback button, you can see they're coming from there and I can actually choose to get rid of you know, I can choose to get rid of this particular force that I have here. And once I do that, you would notice that these things fall down. So let's add some more cool forces to this one. And in this case, I would simply go in and get that turbulence and draw in that turbulence right there. Now look at this. Okay. So we can now use this to create some very nice stuff. So I can move this around and yeah, we can get something like that. And most of you guys might be saying, okay, it gets to 250 and stops. How can I increase this? You can, of course, increase this however you want. So if I have this object selected, I can simply go over to where we have our particles and then I can increase this from there. And in this case, if I also like to increase it from here, I can set this to 500. Since it ends at 500, I'm just going to set this to 500. And once I increase this all the way back, press the playback button. Once it gets past 250, it continues and, you know, depending on the timing that you set here, that is where this particle thing will stop. You can go in, pick this up, animate it and get some beautiful things out of it. Now, these are ways that you can tweak this. If you like to apply this to text, you can, of course, go ahead and apply this to text. And this comes in very handy. And for your text, you need to convert your text to geometry and you can apply this and get some very cool results with it. It's also worth knowing that all of the presets that you have here, all these things are heavily customizable, so you can select any of them and customize them to your liking. Something else, which I believe a lot of you guys need to also see, and I think this is also something that would make a lot of sense, is this. So let's just go in, actually let's just get a brand new, nope, not that. Let's go ahead and get a brand new scene, and let me show you guys this one. So in most cases, you might want to use a preset that has multiple stuff so i'll be taking a look at one of them which is like the fireworks so i'm going to go ahead and click on add preset and you can see these bad boys okay so if we go in and press the playback button 
let's actually switch this so that you guys can enjoy the view so i'll just go in there throw in the bloom then set these all the way to black okay so if i press the playback button you can see we have this lovely stuff just going and going and going so this looks really really nice for those who like to play with fireworks this is it but what if you like to customize change this how you can customize this is simple select the particle itself go all the way to where you have like your particles and you notice you have the first one and then you have the second one so the first one deals with the trail that actually travels all the way up and then you have the second one so in this case once you have this selected you can go over to the render section and then you can see the collection where this exists so in this case this exists within the blue collection so we need to go all the way to blue and within the blue collection you can see we have the icosphere itself and then you have the particles so if we select the particles we can go over to the property section and i can change the color from blue to something else so right now you can see i'm changing all of that so we can even go ahead and change this to green purple you know whatever you want whatever you want so if i bounce this all the way back press the playback button and you can see so let's say for example, we have uh, something else. Let's find another thing. So one thing which I found out with this one is you need to select the trail. Okay. So like uh, this trail is the one you have to select. So if you select the trail like this, which is this particular one, you can go over here and then you need to go over to the render section where you can find the instance collection like green. Go all the way to where you have the green. Select the particle itself. Go over to where you have the materials and then you can change the materials how you want so this way you can simply customize these things and of course if you like to customize the timing and all that you can also go over to the particle section and make these changes yourself and that is how easy it is for you to customize some of these things and get some pretty decent results with them so there's a whole lot of things that you can pick from and also you can choose to play with effects that exist here and start doing some very creative things with it and that's more like it for those who like to get this go over to the particle x page right now where you can grab these things and start playing with it you can of course go ahead and check out his storefront where you can see some other cool things like the procedural city add-on you know the sci-fi elements the quick handheld camera vera and so much more so all of these things are available and you can take advantage of this and start making some pretty cool stuff for yourself and that's more like it for those who like to check these things out. Link to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.